Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am here to show you the Space Jam. A lot of people have forgotten about this because they just can, you know, Dodo Ball is the easiest, Dodo Ball is the best in their opinion. I don't know how, but there's something underneath me, but oh well. And Space Jam is pretty cool. It's basically you're using the Bulb Dog instead, and uh, it, it's, I don't know, I think it's easier than Dodo Ball, but that's my personal opinion. And you get this view, which is like my favorite part of the entire thing, but you know, that's me. I would say that the hardest thing is, you can see that I had to kill this guy. Um, Tech Rexes will show up, so bringing like a shotgun or something like that, no different than Dodo Ball, because you should not do Dodo Ball without expecting to be destroyed by a Caprasuchus. So, um, just to show you the actual coordinates of this, you can actually click on your mission list. Go to Space Jam, and any of these Space Jams will allow you to actually play this. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you on Gamma, and it's really easy. There's a trick to it, I'll show you it, and you basically take your basket case, go right before the tech jump pad, line up the backboard with your shoulders, so your head kind of like is inside the Space Jam thing, and throw. And it will be a perfect three-point shot every... Boop, single time now basically you have to do even less work than dodo ball so this is like the ultimate hexagon farming a lot of people have been like oh I'm gonna farm some dodo ball I would farm this if I was you because you can literally do it way easier just like that and uh, I'll show you not only gamma but I'll show you alpha and beta because it really is that easy um, just put your shoulders on it and throw you don't have to go nearly as far as dodo ball which is really awesome and because of how the arc works on this sort of like a normal basketball game the uh the higher arc you can achieve from this angle means that you're going to miss less often which is pretty neato and you just launch and watch Boop. and uh obviously as you see there's my win and i got that primitive hexagon shield uh but that's gamma let's go ahead and show you this bad boy on beta because you can just farm the crap out of it. Okay, so just like Dodo Ball, you need 25 and then 50, but you don't have to nearly go as far. So these are much easier, in my opinion. Oh, wait, what is going on? I was like, how do you get stuck there? So once you get good at it, you can literally just, like, run up to the edge of this. Put your shoulders at it. Just like this, and throw. And it's a three-point shot, so it counts as more. And that hang time, boom, every single time. Now, if you're looking to farm some stuff, this is probably one of the easiest ways that I have found so far. Um, let me let me have it. Thank you. Um, but obviously on official servers and boosted servers, you're going to need a lot more. This is like on the lowest settings in regards to the actual loot that I can get. So that primitive shield could have been a ram shack or something like that on a higher level server. But you also have to do this, you know, round in order to actually do the boss. So, not too bad. Uh, come on now. Space Jam. And there goes my basket case. Got him. And there is another way to do this. You can do, like, the slam dunk, so you have to reach a certain height in order to do it. But uh, it also wastes a lot more time, so missing even once means you basically lose. Where is this method? You just throw them into the hoop and you win. Uh, what the heck? Why is basket case going all the way over there? Turd. Now I use the blue hoop because for me it's easier to see. Um, but that's up to you. And shoulders up. Oop. Man, that arc is so cool. You feel accomplished. You're like, yeah. What the heck? Excuse me. Go in your go in your home. there thank you go home Boom. all right now just to show you this is beta come on short oh my goodness lag X spike Boop. and he's got his coast time Boop. and boom <clears throat> Now, I think the, the basketballs are probably my favorite mini games. I like them the most because they're the most relaxing. Once you take things out, it's kind of like, how good are you? Can you mimic things? Because if you can mimic things, it makes it a lot easier. 
and uh not too bad it's a megalosaurus saddle i'll take it all right we're gonna go ahead and do alpha as well sorry i'm a little bit stuffy right now still just a touch sick and we'll line ourselves up and this again is some easy easy points 50 points is just it's the process of waiting for him to go in the hoop that is the hardest part for me got him next step shoulders with head through and we can just you know wait for our next ball and it kind of almost feels like it sucks them down just a touch into the hoop which is kind of funny because you know they're not supposed to make this really easy but it is it's really not that difficult all right i mean think about it i'm literally going back and forth typical art grind in order to actually get a bunch of hexagons and high level stuff <laughs> um i suppose i should probably show you the coordinates but you know it's much easier rather than showing coordinates just to give you guys the actual mission name with that space ball but oh well in my opinion it's a lot of fun so i'm gonna keep doing it I probably will go onto my server and farm the crap out of this because I think this is easier and I hate Caprasuckus. There are many things in this game that I don't like, but Caprasuckus are a different level of anger for me, so I don't like them. Uh, Space Rexes you can see coming from miles out because they're ginormous, whereas Caprasuckus, not so much. Alright, come on now, head slightly through. And three-point shot is good. I should try out for the NBA. I really should, because uh, I've got some range on my shots. I was a little bit to the right. Let's see if it still goes in with this technique. Oh my goodness. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, we are gonna go ahead and shoot this bad boy into the heck. I like punched him as I did it, so that like launched him extra far. So I guess there's an issue. If it's lagging too much, you will uh, send your dodo, or not your dodo, your bulb dog flying. And boop. So we have another two minutes, 35 seconds, which is definitely plenty of time. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, it's not no time. Again, work smarter, not harder. Three point shots yield you more, so don't try and do the whole like jump and run thing. Just go for the three point shot. And I'm sure there's a way to do it like instantly turning around, but I don't really necessarily want to. I'm just doing it in the way that I know how. You could probably do it by just like standing here and shooting once you find the right angle, but no thanks. I've got my way and it works. Well, I guess another easier way to measure it for you, if you just put your head inside of that little, like, whatever it's called, the little hexagon, and just barely up the top, it's like a win every time. Because you've got a little bit of leeway left and right, because that hoop is huge. Alright, there he is, 42. I'm curious to see how many points this gives me. And this is one times everything, so this is like official rates, not, not anything special. All right, there's that. Okay, look up. Bulldog ball. Kobe. Rest in peace. So, anyways, we got one more shot. Got to make it here. It's an easy shot. I should, like, run behind him and just dunk. But, boom. And you can see, I had a minute to spare, so this was not difficult. Okay, so 900 hexagons. That's actually really good cloth boots. If you're looking to, like, stay cool, that's a really good option. Um, so, basically, you could do, and I'll show you the last thing. What you're allowed to do, technically, I don't do it this way because it's so frustrating for me. Wait, what the heck? Where's the dodo? Pick teams. Oh, I see. Okay. So, basically what you can do is you can just, like, jump up in the air and then throw it for the hoop. But the negative side is it's really hard to aim. 
so you don't get any bonus points for it and you can try and slam dunk it too but it's also very difficult because you have to like be a certain distance away like that and it doesn't really follow normal rules so use the three point shot and you can win every time all right hopefully this little video helps you out and teach out got it